and I wanted to make a video addressing why when INFPs get fired up about something, they can come off as abrasive. Hopefully it doesn't sound like a bunch of whining and is useful and helpful to other people who know INFPs or if you're an INFP, maybe this will hit home. Maybe you can, you can relate. Relatable. Let's get into the video. Hi guys, welcome back to INFX TV. This is Hillary. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, things INFPs struggle with. First off, INFP interests are pretty typically humanitarian. Um, we're interested in improving humanity. And that means not just people. So basically any kind of living being. So this includes animals and this can also include like, you know, the state of the world, like the environment, like don't cut trees down. One reason why this humanitarian um, approach can be abrasive and difficult for the INFP and others is that it's tampering with the way that things are now. INFPs might be interested in things that are generally considered like taboo to some people, to most people, um, society, I guess, in large. Our interests are controversial. Some examples of these interests would be um, anything that deals with perpetuating individual rights and freedoms, such as like gay rights, diet, so uh, people who are really into um, the vegan diet, which means no animal products, um, or even vegetarianism, animal testing, human trafficking, and physician-assisted suicide or euthanasia. And unfortunately, a lot of people cringe at the mere mentioning of those topics. Um, you know, it's pretty easy to get people to to roll their eyes when somebody gets into talking about those kinds of things, which is really frustrating for the people who um, feel a deep connection to those kinds of issues. <clears throat> However, I totally understand why people, you know, do the, give the eye roll. For an INFP, the dominant function is introverted feeling. Introverted feeling is associated with lots of deep, intense personal feelings that have a really hard time being shown to other people, have a really hard time being um, externalized. Along with that, the functions that are extroverted for INFPs are extroverted intuition and extroverted thinking. So extroverted intuition is a pretty scattered function and extroverted thinking is very formal and structured and cold. No bueno for the INFP to communicate. So when you couple deep, passionate feelings and ideals with a formal delivery and maybe a scattered follow-through, those three things make it kind of frustrating for other people to deal with. And I think that that frustration is totally warranted. I think two things that need to happen are number one, the INFP needs to realize that there are better ways of communicating these things. Even if it's not natural for the INFP, it will be helpful to try to incorporate some of these methods or maybe talk with other people who are better at this. Like for example, my husband David is very, very good at knowing how to not be abrasive and stir the pot. Too good. <laughs> so partnering with somebody who can help you communicate your ideas in an effective manner um, is really gonna help you. And it's, I think, gonna improve the overall experience for everybody. Other people need to be aware that the INFP isn't trying to bring the world down. I think other people need to take time to try to understand the INFP and understand the issues that the INFP cares about um, and really, really open their mind to it. I think if both of those things can happen, 
then the whole process can be a lot easier and a lot more pleasant and I think INFPs will be much more likely to open up about things and share what's on their mind. Um, INFPs, this may mean you just need to start talking to someone about something. As uncomfortable as that may be for you, there is no easy way to start talking about something other than just talking about it. So, moral of the story, INFPs. Go out there and follow your passions. Share your passions, but learn how to do it in a less abrasive way and understand that help other people try to understand you and give them room, okay? This concludes my video. I forgot to say thank you for watching. Um, I really do mean it and I did say it in my head, but it did not transfer to you. So thanks for watching. Like this video if you liked it. No fake liking. And subscribe if you are intrigued by what we have to say and would like to keep watching us. All right, bye guys. <laughs>there was totally a squirrel up there. He was so cute. I want to adopt him. It's on the INFP's fart. Fart. <laughs> the INFP's part to, um, <laughs> am I five? <laughs>